so welcome to all of you today we are going to start the first chapter of the book moments the first chapter is the lost child as you can see the first chapter is the lost child i am trying to bring the book or the chapter before you wait a minute i will show you hmm yes this is the chapter the lost child before starting the chapter i would like to tell you something about human psychology but before that you should know who is the writer of this story will you tell me who is the writer of this story mulk raj anand have you ever heard the name of this writer have you ever heard the name of this writer aapne pehle is writer ka naam suna hai kabhi no okay so let us try to know about the writer a little bit it will be helpful to you to understand the quality of the writer he is a very great writer especially his writings which he has written as you can see this is the picture of mulk raj anand as you can see it is on your screen and here something has been written about it we have information about mulk raj anand that he was an indian writer in english notable for his dip, depiction of the lives of the poor in the traditional indian society as you can see on the screen so here it is being informed that mulk raj anand was an indian writer who used to write in english so such writers who are indians and they are writing in english they are called indo anglo writer what are they called indo anglo writer and mulk raj anand is renowned or notable for his depiction of the lives of the poor in the traditional indian society in almost all his writings you will find here we are not talking about the lost child the lost child actually it also depicts the picture of indian society but he is especially known for the issues problems complexity which lie in indian society his very popular fiction which name is untouchable what is the name of that fiction do you understand the meaning of untouchable untouchable means which is not touched jisko chhua na jaye so you know in old or traditional indian society there were some persons under a caste who were known as untouchable the common persons used not to touch them or they are not regarded auspicious in society they used to live in the distant area they were not permitted to live with the common persons i think you know about it so he has kept this issue through his writing the novel the fiction that is known as untouchable one of the pioneers of indo anglican fiction he was the first indian based writer in english to gain an international readership means he was the first indian who earned such type of reputation on the world on the platform of world literary world not only in india but all over the world mulk raj anand is admired for his novels and short stories which have acquired the status of being classical works of modern english literature noted for 
respective insight into the lives of the oppressed and their analysis of improvisement, exploitation and misfortune. These are the problems of the society. Impoverishment means daridrata, garibi, exploitation means sosan, misfortune means durbhag. He is also notable for being among the first writers to incorporate Punjabi and Hindustani idioms into English. So it is his great contribution to English literature also that he incorporated Punjabi and Hindustani idioms in English literature. बात समझ में आ रही है? वो पहले ऐसे writer थे जिन्होंने Indian idioms को और Punjabi idioms को English literature में introduce किया through his writing. And he is well known to present the problems of Indian society. He always try to discuss such type of problems which is generally ignored by most of the writers. They don't want to talk about such issues. But Mulkaraj Anand is renowned especially for talking about such type of issues, such type of problems which occur in our Indian society either in traditional Indian society or in modern Indian society. Uh, one student is trying to enter whose name is Anand Sankar. I don't think there is any student in our class. Am I right? So this was a little information about the writer Mulkraj Anand which I wanted to impart with you that is why and we should know if you are writing if you are reading and enjoying the writing of any writer so you should know about the writer also. So here the chapter the lost child is fantastic chapter in itself because it deals with the psychology of human beings especially the psychology of a child in this story you will come to know about the mindset of a child who likes some small small things which are ignorable for adults which are ignorable for grown up persons But for children, these are very attractive and interesting things. However, the most important thing in their life is their parents, is their uh, is the, his mother, is his father. In the beginning, we come to know he is attracted by flowers, by balloons, by sweets. All these things attract him in a fair where he has gone with his parents. But his parents do not want to purchase. Maybe some reasons behind that or they would be thinking that children will be children whatever they see they want to purchase so his father was ignoring and not purchasing so the boy was not very happy he thought why his father uh, does not understand does not want to fulfill his desire but after some time it happens that the child was lost in the fair and when he was lost he meets a person a good person who takes him in his lap and uh, search try, tries to search his parents or in the way he finds all the things such like balloons sweets flowers and the man was offering him all these things in order to console the child but now the child has lost all the interest now he does not want to enjoy all these things he wants only his mother and father. So whatever things which attract children, we have to accept the most important thing in their life also, that is their parents. So let's start the story now. The theme I have already told you. As we can see the stanza, the paragraph, not a stanza, this is the paragraph. It was the festival of spring from the wintry sets of narrow lens Alice emerged a gaily clad humanity. यहाँ पे बताया जा रहा है कि ये स्प्रिंग का मौसम है और उसी समय एक फेस्टिवल वहाँ अरेंज हुआ है फ्रॉम द विंट्री सेट्स ऑफ नैरो लेंस तो आप देखते हैं मेले में किस तरह से पतली पतले रास्ते बने होते हैं और 
दूसरे एक दूसरे की तरफ से स्टॉल लगा होता है एंड ऑल द ह्यूमन विंग्स वर देयर एलिस इमर्ज अ गैली क्लैड ह्यूमैनिटी इट मींस दैट इट वाज फुल ऑफ ह्यूमंस हैप्पी ह्यूमंस दे आर एंजॉयिंग द फेयर सम पर्संस हु हैव कम टू द फेयर दे आर वॉकिंग सम आर राइडिंग ऑन द हॉर्सेस सम वर सिटिंग समवेयर सम वर बीइंग कैरीड इन बैंबू इन बुलेट कार्ट्स among all these persons there was a little boy who ran between his father's legs brimming over with life and laughter in sare logo ke sath mein ek family bhi aayi hui hai jisme ek bachcha hai ek child hai jo apne mata pita ke sath us mele mein aaya hai wo khushi khushi apne father ke beech mein pair ke beech se nikal kar bhag jata hai aur hasta hai the boy is quite innocent he is still far from the bay of the world he does not know the trifal and uh, trouble of the life as we know life is full of troubles also there are so many responsibilities there are so many work which we have to do whether we like or not but this is the beauty of life we can't say this is trouble this is the beauty of life but this responsible responsibility this task sometimes painful also but this child is free from all these tensions because he has not such burden on his shoulder he is quite innocent and his age is not to bear this type of responsibilities on him that is why in this age he could enjoy all these things which do not bring any interest in grown up people Is it clear to everyone? Are you understanding? I am waiting for your reply. मैंने जो कहा सबको समझ में आया. Ritika, you have written yes. Sir. Will you please tell me what I told and what you understood? about this first paragraph please what is the psychology of child here Yes yes carry on Actually the psychology of child is here that he is not completely mature he is an innocent child so he is so far away from the responsibilities which are on the shoulder of grown up people those persons who are grown up they are they have so many responsibilities and they cannot enjoy such things which are attracting the little boy but this boy is quite innocent he is not in that age that is why he is easily attracted by all these things and still he is enjoying his life better than all those persons who have grown up is it clear jab aap bade ho jate hain to aapke paas bahut sare responsibilities ho jati hain bahut sare tasks hote hain and you are always restless to complete it because you have some targets you have some achievements you always want to pursue your career at any cost and this is the beauty this is the beauty of life we should do but this time this child is free from all these responsibilities so life is more valuable for him rather than other person's life अभी वो उन चीज उन सारी चीजों को बहुत अच्छी तरह से एंजॉय कर सकता है जिनको कि बड़े लोग नहीं करते लेटेस्ट मूव फॉरवर्ड नाउ ओके नाउ व्हेन द चाइल्ड वाज एंजॉयिंग ऑल दैट With the parents, 
then his parents called him come child come as he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way so as i have told you in the fair there are so many stalls so there are some stalls of toys also and you know very well little children are easily fascinated by these toys so when he sees these toys at the stall he stops there and uh, looks all the toys which were arranged there but his parents move forward and when they turned back they found that the child was still standing at the stall so they call the child he hurried towards his parents when he hears the voice of his mother and father and he comes to know that he has lagged behind do you understand the meaning of lag l a g do you understand the meaning of lag l a g are you listening to me or not हेलो देखिए जब मैं क्वेश्चन पूछूं तो फटाक से आप जवाब दीजिए इफ यू डोंट नो टेल मी बिकॉज दिस इज ऑनलाइन क्लास यू आर नॉट बिफोर मी लैग मीन्स पीछे रह जाना पिछड़ जाना तो एज ही लैग्ड बिहाइंड इट मीन्स वो पीछे रह गया तो व्हेन ही केम टू नो दैट ही लैग्ड बिहाइंड एंड हिज पेरेंट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड He hurried towards his parents. Hurried towards his parents means तेजी से दौड़ते हुए अपने parents के पास जाता है. His feet obedient to their call. देखिए कितने खूबसूरत line है. His feet obedient to their call. Obedient means आज्ञा कारी. यानी कि जैसे ही उसके parent call करते हैं, तो उसके पैर जो हैं अपने आप उसको follow करते हैं. बिल्कुल किसी आज्ञा कारी बच्चे की तरह. His eyes is still lingering on the reading. Receding twice. Receding यानी जो पीछे रह गए बच्चा आगे तो बढ़ रहा है अपने पेरेंट्स की तरफ लेकिन उसकी आंखें जो है अभी भी उन खिलौनों पे टिकी हुई है जो उससे अब छूट रहा है वो उन खिलौनों का मुंह त्याग नहीं पा रहा वो खिलौनों को खरीदना चाहता एज ही केम टू वेयर दे हैड स्टॉप टू वेट फॉर हिम ही कुड नॉट सप्रेस द डिजायर ऑफ हिज हार्ट वेन ही रेज हिज पेरेंट्स then the desire which was uh, taking place in his heart what was the desire we can understand he wanted to purchase the toys so he could not suppress it suppress matlab dabana wo apni ichha ko daba nahi pata even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes but he knows very well what answer would be supplied by his father usse achhi tarah se malum hai ki uske father isme kya jawab denge in spite of that he requested his father and he says i want that toy mujhe wo khilona chahiye he pleaded pleaded matlab requested but he knew very well what would happen let us see what his father says his father looked at him red eyed uske father usko dekhte hain gusse mein angrily in his familiar tarant's way familiar matlab parichit and tarant matlab अत्याचारी तो हेयर फादर इज नॉट टैरेंट बट मीन्स ही डज नॉट लाइक द हैबिट ऑफ हिज चाइल्ड फॉर परचेजिंग ईच एंड एवरी अक्सर आप देखते हैं बच्चे कुछ भी देखते हैं तो उसको खरीदने के लिए जिद करने लगते हैं तो बार बार पेरेंट कितना माना कर रहे हैं तो उसको गुस्सा के भी वो देखते हैं तो फादर इज ऑल्सो ऑक्यूपाइंग दैट पोजिशन हिज मदर मेल्टेड बाई द फ्री स्प्रिट ऑफ द डे वॉज टेंडर एंड गिविंग हिम हर फिंगर टू होल्ड बट उसकी माँ जो है अपनी उंगली बच्चे की तरफ बढ़ाती है और कहती है इसको पकड़ कर चल लुक चाइल्ड व्हाट इज बिफोर यू देखो तुम्हारे आगे क्या है तो दे हैव पास्ड अवे फ्रॉम देयर एंड नाउ इट वाज ए फ्लावरिंग मस्टर फील्ड अब उनके सामने में एक खेत फील्ड का मतलब यहाँ पे खेत जिसमें सरसों की खेती हुई तो उसमें फ्लावर भी होते हैं मस्टर्ड में आपको मालूम है और वो बिल्कुल येलो कलर के होते हैं pale pale like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles and of even land. And when the the child sees the field, he finds that as long as long his sight can go, the entire area was full of yellow flowers of mustard. 
and these yellow flowers of mustard was looking just like melting gold. Gold भी yellow color का होता है mustard भी yellow color का होता है तो जहां तक उसकी नजरें जाती हैं, तो दूर तक खेतों में जो है सिर्फ सरसों के मस्टर्ड के फ्लावर लगे हुए हैं जहां तक वो बच्चा देख सकता है बिल्कुल सोने की तरह वो दिख रहे अ ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रैगन फ्लाइज वर बसलिंग अबाउट ऑन देयर गॉडी पर्पल विंग्स इंटरसेप्टिंग द फ्लाइट ऑफ ए लोन ब्लैक बी और बटरफ्लाई इन सर्च ऑफ स्वीटनेस फ्रॉम द फ्लावर्स तो यू नो वेयर वेरी वेल वेयर देयर आर फ्लावर्स देयर विल बी बटरफ्लाई देयर विल बी बटरफ्लाई इन द सर्च ऑफ स्वीटनेस आपको मालूम है जहां भी फ्लावर्स होते हैं वहां पे आपको बटरफ्लाई दिखाई पड़ेंगे वो उनमें से मिठास लेने के लिए उनके इर्द गिर्द घूमते रहते हैं The the child followed them them in the air with his gaze till one of would would still its wings and rest, and rest. he would try to catch it. बच्चा जब उन बटरफ्लाइज को देखता है तो उनके पीछे दौड़ता है उनको पकड़ने के लिए कभी कभी ये तितलियां जो है किसी फूल पर बैठती है कोई आता है तो उड़ने भी लगती है बच्चा ये सब काफी इंजॉय कर रहा है बट इट वुड गो फ्लटरिंग फ्लैपिंग अप इन टू द एयर एंड वेन द बटरफ्लाई sits on the flower the child thinks that now he would catch it very easily but when he uh, comes near to the butterfly at the same time she starts fluttering fluttering means wo apne pankho ko phad phad ke ud jati hai into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands usse lagta hai ki ab to uske haath mein wo aa hi jayegi lekin aisa hota nahi hai wo ud jati hai Then his mother gave a cautionary call. Come, child, come, come on to the footpath. Then again he hears the voice of his mother, who was calling him, and he found that his mother and father had gone ahead, and he was moving in the field. वो फिर से पाता है कि वो lagged behind. वो फिर से पीछे रह गया है. वो खेतों में butterfly में खोया हुआ है. उसके माता पिता आगे चले गए. But his uh, cosna his mother's cosnary call is listened by him who is calling him to come on the footpath uski mother usko bula rahi hai ki khet se nikal kar raste pe aa jaye again he ran towards his parents gaily gaily yani khushi se and walked abreast of them for a while aur apne mata pita ke beech mein aa jata being however soon left behind attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine aur khet ke paas mein jo keede makode butterfly wagera hain ye sab dekh ke bachcha bahut khush ho raha hai wo enjoy karta hai aur hamesha usi mein kho jata hai ruk jata hai aur wo piche ra jata hai again his parents call come child come called from the shade of a grove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a well पहुंचता है तभी बहुत सारे फूल जो है वो अपने आप झड़ते रहते हैं हवा चलती है तो उसके ऊपर गिरते हैं और ये बच्चा इस समय इस ग्रोव में आकर के ग्रोव एक तरह का बगीचा है जिसमें बहुत सारे फ्लावर्स हैं एंड फॉरगेटिंग हिज पेरेंट्स इस बार वो इतना ज्यादा इसमें खो गया कि अपने माता पिता को ही भूल गया कि वो लोग उससे आगे बैठे हुए हैं ही बिगेन टू गैदर द रेनिंग पेटल्स इन हिज हैंड्स और वो उन पखड़ियों को अपने हाथों में इकट्ठा करने लगता है साउटिंग द डो द डो द रेनिंग पेटल्स ड्रॉप फ्रॉम हिज फॉरगोटेन हैंड्स और तभी वो चिल्लाता है डोव डोव बोलते हैं किसको डोव का मतलब डू यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ डोव मालूम है तो बोलो यस नहीं मालूम है तो बोलो नो पीजन मालूम है आपको पीजन का मतलब समझते हो 
कबूतर उसी को डॉब बोलते हैं तो वो जो है ऊपर घूम रहे हैं तो उनको देखता है और चिल्लाता है डोब डोब द रेनिंग पैटल ड्रॉप फ्रॉम हिज फॉर गोट इन हैंड और उनको देखने के और उनके पीछे दौड़ने के चक्कर में उसके हाथ में जो इकट्ठे थे फ्लावर पेटल्स वो उसके हाथ से नीचे गिर जाते हैं एंड देन अगेन द वॉइस कम चाइल्ड कम दे कॉल टू द चाइल्ड हु हैड नाउ गोन रनिंग इन द वाइल्ड कैपर्स राउंड द बनियान ट्री एंड गैदरिंग हिम अप दे टुक द नैरो विंडिंग फूड पाथ विच लेड टू द फेयर थ्रू द मस्टर्ड फील्ड अब वो बच्चा जो है 